Installing Dell EMC Repository Manager version 3 for the first time. If you currently have a previous version of Repository Manager version 2.0 installed, please make sure that it's turned off prior to proceeding with the installation of version 3. After downloading Repository Manager, just simply double click on the icon to start the installer and then follow the instructions. And it's very simple just to follow the wizard, approve your license agreement acceptance. If you want to change the default location of where Repository Manager is installed, you can do so. You have various options as to where to set up your, your, your start icon or start to process. I prefer doing it on the desktop, so we'll leave it at the default. If you've used previous versions of Repository Manager and want to import the repositories that you've already created, it's very simple to come over and, and select repositories and it will automate the migration of those repositories. And as you can see, it has detected that I do have a previous version of Repository Manager already installed on my system. But for this, I will do a clean in install. Confirm your spaces, and then Repository Manager now starts its work of, of, in of installing. Repository Manager version 3 uh, uses a Java runtime environment, so Java, so that's being installed for you. And it's installing everything else that it's that it's required. And when you're done, just select done. And Repository Manager now is starting the service that it uses to, to uh, work with. And you've gotten uh, your service installation successful. And you'll select OK. Prior to running Repository Manager version 3 the first time, give it 30 seconds to a minute uh, just to make sure that the service that it is installed and that's running is properly picked up by your operating system and, and uh, is proceeding correctly. So we'll just double click on the icon that was created. Repository Manager has successfully been installed on, on your system. So there you have an easy way to get Dell EMC Repository Manager version 3 in, installed in approximately five uh, minutes. And now you're ready to go off and use it. And be sure to check several of the other videos that we have that give examples and tips and tricks on how to create new repositories, how to manage them, and create deployment tools, and do, and do some of the advanced scheduling.